watching Mad Boy Labs Electrostatic Induction. Electrostatic induction, discovered in the mid-1700s, is a redistribution of electrical charges caused by the influence of nearby charge. To see how this works, we're going to use two electroscopes. When an electroscope is charged, either positive or negative, the two leaves in the jar are repelled from one another. We can induce a charged separation in an electroscope by bringing a charged plate close to the electroscope's plate. This causes a polarization of charge over the scope, with opposite charges attracting between the two plates, and a charge the same polarities as that inducing remaining on the leaves of the scope. The net charge on the scope remains the same, but it has been redistributed. With the use of a neutralizing circuit, we can induce a charge separation over two electroscopes. As before, bringing the charged plate close to the electroscoped plate induces a charge separation throughout the system. Backing off the plate, we see that the net charge has remained the same. When we induce a charge separation throughout the circuit and then remove the neutralizer, we separate one charged electroscope from the inductive circuit. When we return the neutralizing circuit between the two oppositely charged electroscopes, we return the individual components of the system to an electrically neutral state. This basic process of inducing charges, their separation and recombination, is the driving mechanism behind electrostatic influence devices like the Wimshurst machine. Watch Mad Boy Lab's video on Wimshurst electrostatic generators to see what happens when we take electrostatic induction to the next level. Or follow up with how the Wimshurst works. Support Mad Boy Lab's with your subscription and I will continue to bring you my mad devices.